हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर डी केमिस्ट्री तुम स्टूडेंट्स केल्ता लास्ट वीकली ओद यद टापि मेले कॉन्सट्रेट अदर वीडियो लास्ट मोमेंट के टापि कली सैकेंड बी चाप्टर्स आर् वेरी इंपारटेंट याउटी क्वेश्चन अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फोर्टी फै क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रम दि से सो ई सजेस्ट यू पीपल टू स्टडी more of the second puc in the last week before the cet so let's start now in solid state concentrate on how to find out the density of the solid using the formula then you have got seven types of the crystal systems then packing efficiency the percentage also how to calculate the percentage of voids then you have to study about the defects okay we have got stoichiometric defect non stoichiometric defect and the impurity defect and there are different types are there they we have got stoichiometric defect frenkel defect and uh, one more important thing what happens when strontium chloride impurity is there in the sodium chloride that question is very important in case of solutions concentrate on the henry's law what is the kh value okay how it depends on the solubility and all okay So, what is the relation between kh value and the solubility? Then the Raoult's law to calculate the total pressure of mixture of two liquids. Also, study the deviation. We are deviation from the Raoult's law. That is the non-ideal solution. Study about the positive and negative deviation and the examples of them, which can be asked. Then all the four colligative properties and the formula. Okay. So, relative lowering of vapor pressure, osmotic pressure. Elevation the boiling point and depression the freezing point. Clear? In electrochemistry, study about the electrochemical series. That the arrangement of the different elements, metals in the increasing or decreasing order of the SRP values. Okay, so we are studying the SRP values and study the application part of the electrochemical series, which is very important. Then how to find out E not cell? E not cell generally is equal to E not of the cathode minus E not of the anode in terms of SRP values. Then what is the formula or relation between E not cell and KC? Because they can ask you find out the KC value. Okay, where you need to take anti log of those numbers. Then how to calculate delta G not? Delta G not gives free energy change minus N F E not cell. Okay, so also try to find out to find the N value. The Faraday's constant. What is the value of Faraday's constant? And how to find out E not cell? Then molar conductivity and molar conductivity in finite dilution very important. Then conductivity okay kappa for the solution. Then for the application part of the Colbert's law. Clear right? In chemical kinetics okay study about the zero order and the first order because in the syllabus only two. Important topics are there: zero order and first order in terms of order of the reaction. Now, what are the units of K for zero order and first order? How to write down the integrated rate equation? Using rate, integrated rate equation, you can draw the graphs, the concentration versus the time interval. Then, how to find out the half life for zero order, first order? Then, molecularity, and also remember the difference between molecularity and the order. And next one is the pseudo order reaction. Remember the definition and the example. Okay, fine. In surface chemistry, study what is the adsorption, what is the condition for adsorption, and during adsorption, what happens is that delta H value, enthalpy change, entropy change, and uh, remember the formula delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. What will happen at the equilibrium stage? Then study important uh, two adsorption, physics option, the chemistry option, then. One more important thing is a friendly adsorption isotherm. Remember the formula: x by m is equal to k into p to the power one by n, and log form of this one, and plot the graph wherein find out the slope and the intercept on the y-axis. Study the types of colloids. There are different types of the classification for colloids. Preparation of the colloids, then coagulation of the flocculation value. Also, also remember what is the peptidation here? Clear? What is the peptidation? Then. Study about the Hardy-Schull rule. Hardy-Schull rule is important for the coagulation. How much of the electrolyte? Okay, minimum amount or maximum amount required for the coagulation, right? 
under d block element okay uh, we have got electronic configuration remember the electron configure 3d series okay then color of the ions when a metal ion can exhibit the color when there is unpaired electrons how to calculate magnetic pro uh, property magnetic values using the spin only formula square root of n into n plus 2 and you find out the number of unpaired electron for that you require electronic configuration okay i have not explained about the p block elements there is a lot to study p block elements it i advise you to read once entire p block elements d block element and if you go for first year s block element and group number 13 and 14 of the p block elements so it's more of memory oriented more of theory that you can read once but i given here a d block element because these are the specific questions that are asked okay then under coordination compounds find out how to find out the coordination number of the central atom one question can be asked then also can they ask what is the oxidation number of the central metal atom all those things okay then how to write down the IUPAC of the coordination compounds then using VBT we can predict the hybridization magnetic property okay inner or outer orbital complexes then CFT okay you have to study the CFT in case of octahedral complex and the tetrahedral complex you remember those are T2G and EG set okay clear and using CFT we also study about the color of the complexes right yeah organic chemistry i have combined all the chapters together but i can't tell which is important which is not important general organic chemistry mixed questions are asked even the smallest reaction that is there in the textbook can be asked to predict the product okay so now i put the all the organic uh, organic chapter put together like alcohols phenols ether haloalkyne haloarenes then aldehyde ketone carboxylic acid and amines are put together okay and then we have got uh, biomolecules so here you remember sn1 sn2 mechanisms what are the intermediate forms what is the order of reactivity between primary secondary tertiary okay then dehydrohalogenation which is the elimination reaction okay elimination reaction you have to remember the said zef rule also said zef said zef rule also okay or said zef rule okay more stable alkenes form that one then Study about the acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes to prepare alcohols, okay, using a Marconi Koff rule. Then HBO of alkene, hydroboration oxidation alkene to give again alcohol, but according to the anti Marconi Koff rule. The overall addition of water molecule according to anti Marconi Koff, you have to remember. Then what is Lucas reagent? What is the use of Lucas reagent to distinguish primary, second, tertiary alcohols? Then preparation of the Grignard reagents, okay, formaldehyde gives you primary alcohol, other aldehydes gives you secondary alcohol and ketones give rise to tertiary alcohol. So you have to remember what will happen with the aldehydes and ketones, how to prepare primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. Then reacts with the HI, sorry, ether reaction with the HI and uh, HBr, like we have got RO, R dash, where the bond breaks, okay, hydrogen goes along with the oxygen, where the Br goes. Br can go to the okay R or Br can also go to the okay R dash. So those kind of reaction important, right? Then you have got very famous reaction aldol condensation, Canada reaction. Remember alpha hydrogen atom if it is there in the presence of dilute sodium hydroxide aldol. If no alpha hydrogen, Canada reaction. Then Clemensen's reduction and Wolf Kishner reduction to give the hydrocarbons, right? Clear? Also recall the strong and mild oxidizing agent. Strong oxidizing agent, we have got potassium permanganate in the syllabus. Okay. Potassium dichromedia. Mild one, we have got CrO3 in the anhydrous medium. Then you have got PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate to oxidize the primary alcohol and secondary alcohol to the aldates and ketones respectively. Okay. Right. Then we have got Acidic nature of phenols and carboxylic acid, right, right there, order can be asked. Preparation the amines, important preparations are they? Because I'm stressing here preparation because from nitro compound, amides, cyanides, we can prepare amines. So remember for these reductions, what are the different types of the reducing agents that have been asked? Okay, reducing agents. 
जनरल स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट वन देन यू गॉट सोडियम बोरोहाइड्राइड देन यू गॉट हाइड्रोजन एंड निकल देन फॉर नाइट्रो रिडक्शन वी गॉट टिन एच सी एल और आयन एच सी एल सो दिस रिमेम्बर ओके दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेसिफिक वन then basic nature of mines okay in the aqueous medium generally asked okay so primary second tertiary order remember what the use of the insberg reagent insberg reagent used to distinguish three types of amine primary second tertiary amine then study about the glucose reactions what will happen with the hi what will happen with the bromine water with the nitric acid then uh, acetic anhydride all those things structure of glucose and fructose okay then what do you mean by reducing and non reducing sugar that is based on the reaction with the tolens reagent if it reacts with tolens reagent they are reducing sugar if it doesn't react they are called non reducing sugars okay then finally go through the what do you mean by zwitter ion okay zwitter ion you know then uh, what is the uh, what is the zwitter ion for which how zwitter ion is formed what happens zwitter ion when there is a acidic ph and when there is a basic ph okay it can change okay it can be either positive charge species or can only be negative charge species if there is a positive negative species are there on the same amino acid as zwitter ion all those things you have to remember okay then classification of amine different classifications are there uh, based on the acidic nature basic nature or neutral then we have got essential and non essential remember the types of the protein globular protein all those things are there primary structure second structure tertiary structure quaternary structure then what do you mean by denaturation what will happen to the primary secondary tertiary structure during denaturation and finally we have got okay difference between dna rna how the composition varies so i suggest all these topics to be okay thorough in the last week of the um, last week that is the before the ct examination if you like this video please do subscribe like share and please write on the comments thank you have a nice day good luck